today's video is a meal prep video uh we are going to prep for the week in less than two hours my version of meal prep is uh you know trying to make sure that the meals you eat at the most busiest period of your time are done and ready so basically we are doing breakfast and lunch and dinner will be whatever the whole family is eating so i'm going to start with um lunch right now i'm just dicing the tomatoes i'm using um normal tomatoes and then we are dicing red bell peppers once i'm done dicing this ones they will go into the oven because i'm going to bake them for about 20 minutes so once that is out of the way we can move on to the next meal so these baked tomatoes and red bell pepper i'm going to add some other ingredient to make a salad uh with it and then i'm going to add a major carb because yes you <laughs> If you know me you know that i'm a carb lover i can't do without eating carbs in a week so i'm definitely going to be adding some form of carbs into that one uh one of the reasons why i love tomatoes and um, red bell pepper in my salad is because it is very very high in anti-inflammatory properties so that way you avoid being bloated and you know you can easily maintain your tummy when you're eating this healthy kinds of food it also has some other healthy benefit i know that some people even eat raw tomatoes uh people with cancers and the likes because of the amazing benefits so i'm just gonna add one tablespoon of oil usually <laughs> i'm using this uh goya oil that somebody gave me so i'll just had a uh a bottle cap of it uh that's approximately one tablespoon of oil and then once i drizzle in oil i'm gonna have some spices so here i'm adding black pepper uh oregano i'm just gonna add these spices just i don't really measure it so uh, if you are new to spices you want to be adding bit by bit and that's rosemary i'm adding rosemary into the mixture then after the rosemary i'm going to add uh, some cameroon pepper uh because <laughs> even though the red pepper red bell pepper is there i still like um to add some uh cameroon pepper into my food another reason why i add it is because yeah uh pepper contain capsaicin which has been shown to help to boost metabolism and you know reduce your cravings and appetite and because once you're eating spicy food you also tend to drink enough water and then we are just going to add a dash of salt and then we are going to grill this is half cup of rice <laughs> and then we are going to boil the half cup of rice uh so that we can add it to the salad for breakfast i'm going to be having avocado and egg and then the next breakfast will be overnight oats so i'm using this old-fashioned oat i uh, will just be adding the oat into the and uh, not really mason jar <laughs> you know i'm just gonna add it into this container and we'll add half cup of oat into both containers so for me this is rolled oat but you can also do instant oat instant oat like quick oat if that's what you have then this is flax seed um flax oat on its own is high in fiber but flax seed will also add more fiber and then you also get the healthy fat we make a three fatty acid that we need to function we're going to add yogurt this is the yogurt that i was able to get in the supermarket uh, i'm a fan of uh, sadek yogurt if you're in abelkota in nigeria so but this was what i could find that day so i got it so um had greek yogurt you know uh unsweetened yogurt sweetened yogurt but just make sure that you're adding uh you're not adding all those uh uh you got milk that um this is readily sold because there's a lot of added sugar in those ones so you want to do that greek sweeting plain or sweetened you got then i had a water and now i'm just mixing everything together now we're just gonna have cinnamon to add some you know tangy and is it is it tangy now or maybe spicy not really spicy but hard to this eat and it, cinnamon helps to regulate blood sugar that's one of the reasons why i love to add cinnamon because once your blood sugar is regulated you're not going to constantly feel hungry so we're going to add some fruit i like berries a lot because they are freezer friendly they are really really freezer friendly so i'm just going to add the blueberries into this ones i added a cup of blueberries into both oats so 
I love overnight oat a lot because you do not need to cook. You, the, the meal is ready as it is. You just eat and you're, you're going. Because I added flaxseed, I added a little bit of water because uh, the flaxseed, uh, because it's fiber, it will absorb water and then it's going to thicken up. And I don't really like it when it's so, you know, thickened. I like it to be a little bit fluidy. So I added a little bit of water to it. That's pretty much it. I'm going to cover it up. If you want to eat more, when you're ready to eat, you can add some fruit like apples so I, I was i was trying to show you here that i just repurposed my peanut butter container uh my messengers have broken over the years so i didn't even bother i just repurposed my uh not see peanut butter containers i made two and you know that we are eating two avocados because i have one leftover smoothies in the fridge so that's those are the five breakfast for the week let's move to lunch um we're just going to make some chicken stir fry and uh, we're going to stir fry that we had one tablespoon of oil had onions add the chicken stir fry everything had spices you know the same way we had the spices to the peppers and then we're just going to dice pepper and then we'll dice you know cucumbers uh you remove the soggy part of the cucumbers because uh before you stir fry so that it won't be soggy so we have that to the chicken and then we stir fry everything together so you can also add a pinch of salt you know just a little bit amount of salt but i'm also adding um half a lemon squeeze of half a lemon i remove the seed and then i'm adding the juice so that is it now we we want to make our healthy salad dressing and then again one tablespoon of oil and then we are going to add uh, the juice of the remaining half a lemon we're going to add the juice to the oil that's this is how i make all my homemade salad dressing uh, it's preferable to mayo and you know salad cream and all that but if you, uh, you all you want to do is uh, mayo and salad cream you can do that too just make sure that you're limiting your intake to uh one tablespoon per serving if you're still watching please let me know your favorite salad dressing in the comment section below mayo or salad cream so here i'm just adding salt and pepper we'll mix everything together now our salad dressing is ready you can see the dressing so for the baked uh tomatoes and red bell pepper i'm just gonna add chickpeas one can of chickpeas and then uh stirred fried chicken so we're gonna plate that right now into three so the tomatoes and the red bell pepper the chickpeas and then i'm gonna add uh um the chicken and we are going to add rice into just two of the 07 the other one i'm going to add salad dressing and um, eat during the week or if i feel like eating something else i just add to eat and um this is our stir fried cucumber pe bell peppers and then chicken so we had rice that's a lot of rice by the way <laughs> but i didn't want to add it to any other serving so we had that and then we are packing the salad uh dressing so that's pretty much it you know we have breakfast lunch uh, uh breakfast and lunch for five days and then we eat whatever we like for dinner in the right portion so this is what it looks like when i plate it i had this for the avocado and the egg i had a two seven spoons of bread you see you can go versatile it if you like this video give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel so you do not mix out on the next video bye for now